All right, so that's the one mat done. But if you remembered, I uh, chugged over and I'll close that now. That one is all done. It's a shame. No, no, I'm happy with it. I'll close that down. Now, I've gone over to design two. I'm going to take my hoop off and I'm going to look at it. Oh, there you are. And in exactly the same way, uh, because you might not want the Bacardi bat, you might want a norm, normal looking bat. Uh, I don't know why, but you may. Anyway, so uh, I am going to digitise exactly the same as I have done before. This is in a new file now, and I am just going to quickly digitise a rectangle. Oh, I didn't do that right. Is that rectangle square? Uh, are we using black? No, let's use black. That'd be good for a start, right? So I'm just going to... Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Where you go, second one down, that's it. Uh, pick that up and say, oh no, outline, if you don't mind, think I'll run that to me. This is just a, a, a uh, confine, okay? Now I'm going to pick up that square and I'm going to come down to layout and I'm going to say, well, put that square in the flipping middle, auto centre to work area and hit enter and boom, that's in the middle. Now my drawing is not, is it? And... Also, I'd like my drawing to fit, but it's not kind of going to, is it? So I'm going to hold down shift so it's going to be um, proportionally um, made larger. Yeah. And I might move it over a little bit. Now my tip still doesn't, so it's proportionately could be made smaller. Still doesn't fit. Tiny bit more little bit more now i'm going to move the whole thing and say well if i put my outside lines in the center is that going to work yeah it will it's not very big is it no we have about it. it's a bit skinny isn't it up to what we just did considering this four inch hoop is oh let's make sure that is i didn't do that did i let's take the confines off and say i actually want that hoop to be not that hoop that sizing to be four inches by uh, uh, four inches and hit enter that made it smaller even more small right so now i'll take up my design and say well hey hey ho you've got to fit in this because i need keep hold of the right one which is that one uh i need this to fit there it is i need this to fit within my um kind of uh prelude of what i'd done before with the bacardi bat but i'm not happy about that what happens if i stretch the design what happens if i make that design la oh well, he's not so clever is he or is he i don't know let me think mm. i just <laughs> like i keep making him bigger is, yeah, so now, from what I originally had, if I just duplicate my original, duplicate, oh, I can, no, I can't, no, because I'm messing with my original, so, uh, undo, that's no good to me, uh, but actually, I've changed all the proportions, but now, and I can get hold of him now, and say, okay, auto set to work area, and it enter, uh no he's not is he so why is he not if this is auto set the work area bang that now he is oh now i had to move the two anyway you always got to make sure that you are working within the center of your oop now we decided to confine this to four inches now i've moved him and i have made him a little bit of a different shape but he still looks like a bat to me i'm a bit concerned about his feet this is how I'm thinking at the moment. Mm, I can do all of that. But his feet were a bit odd. However, we will work with that right now. Right, so in exactly the same way as we have before, um, I am going to go over to digitise. Leave it on to Tony. Why is it not on to Tony? Oh, digitise uh, crochet, because that's what it's going to be. And come up the fill and say well you know let's tell me at the end of the day that's what we're gonna do make it nice and big so we can see it now i am gonna leave the feet off of this for a moment 
okay because I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to do this in the same way as I did before so I'm going to start on a nice straight line and this is really boring not even coming out on mine Oh, uh, right, this size closed shape would be good. So, starting at one side, I'm not going to show you all of this. You know how to do all of this. Okay, so I'm just going to go around the exterior and uh, make this entire bat. Okay, so this bat. I'm kind of doing a bit different. I want to do it almost negative to the other bat. Wait and see what I say. So, uh, this bat, it's a Tommy, yeah, and in the same way, we're going to go, oh yeah, pick it up, right, so working with it, and say, well, you know, I want it to be. Now, before we were, oh, we're in inches, my bad, US metric, right, we're in metric now. My bad, so pick it up, and this time I want to say it to be uh, the same, about about 3.25, yeah, so, no, so I want the spacing to be around about 3.25. Two, five, boom, yeah, and then I so see my tatami is moved up here, and then effects and stitching. Obviously, I want to take out underlay so I've got no nasties underneath it. Uh, it's no, now let me just bring this back to 100% so you can see how it looks on, on there. And this time it's at 15, but I don't want it at 15 this time. This time I want it at 45 degrees. Oh, 45, what's wrong with me? 45 degrees, hit enter, right? So now I've done that, then I'll duplicate this, and then I want this to be 45 plus 95, uh, 125 degrees. So it's going entirely the other way. Now let me just zoom into that and look at it. All right, I'm just, now this is really big, Zebra, before you decide, oh, hello, it's much looser than mine. That's really big. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tighten that down, to be honest with you. I like it. I want it to be this diamond shape, and I like it. But I am going to tighten that down, because you're going to see in a moment what I do with the other bits. So, uh, all right, let's go to the top one again. Okay, and effects, where's not any of that? And fill, yay. So I'm saying spacing is 3.25. So I'm going to move that, and I'm going to say, no, actually, spacing 2.5. Whack it. Now, I am going to uh, pick up the second one, which is the hatch, and I am going to say that, 2.5. So I've closed it up, all right? So if I come back to 100%, I've, right, I've closed up the hatching, all right? And you bring it up nice and big. Yes, it is still hatched, but bring it back to, as percent 100%. So, so I've really closed up that hatch work, yeah? So I am um, actually... Uh, caught up with I'm gonna have to do it the same right round so I'm gonna redo 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 to where I was before no undo 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 oh, where I wasn't uh yeah yep and right <coughs> here we go then what we need to do is bring this up nice and big so that we can. And we're still using black. And now we're going to go to digitize. <sighs> Clive shape. Press 0. 
so we can get back to where we were. Uh, come up here and uh, digitize this as a closed shape. Yeah, I'll start here. Oh, yeah, I might as well start there, aren't I? So I'm going to follow around this white. On this side, Enter so that I've got that. Oh, I'm not happy about that, and I'm gonna make that satin anyway. Pick that up and make it satin. That's brilliant. Right, let's come out now. I'm gonna change the angles on this because I'm really not happy about it. So, having made the one side, I am gonna uh, select it and then go, ooh, hello, reshape. Uh, what I consider about is the angle of dangle, uh, and I want it to be more obtuse. That's better. Very happy with that. Uh, go back to that, like select, as in like duplicate. There we go. Now I've got two of them. And then we can go back to our old mirror idea up here and say, well, hello, I want it that way around. And now pick up that one. And because most illustrators are really stupid or whatever. Yeah, you see, it fits that side. Right. So and then what haven't we done? Well, OK, using the same... Uh, uh, this size uh, close shape <clears throat> and we're in satin and we're coming up we're still in black yeah and I'm going to make these eyes nice and bloody big if I just get back to them right oh, darlings right so there we go uh Left at the top, left at the side, left at the bottom, left at the side, and close. There we go. Oh, right at the top, left at the side, left at the bottom, left at the side, and hit. Right, okay, so we got the two eyes in. Now, the other thing I said to you, I wasn't, I knew was a little bit concerned, and I want to do this now before I put on the satin stitch for the outside. Uh, I need to do these feet. Well, they look to me as I say, mirror image as well. So I am going to start here on this lovely black line in this size close shape uh, satin. Yeah, and I'm going to go well, right from there to there, down there, down there, down there, up to there, down there. Oh, why is that gone weird behind me? Talons. And hit. Enter to close it up. Oh, that's not a very good angle. So select, uh, reshape. Oh, did not like I want them coming down. D. Now, let's uh, go back to select. So I've got a bet right here. And come over. Mm. Come out. 
Yeah, I agree. Did pull them. Reshape. Not quite straight down. A little bit of an angle. That's how I want it. Brilliant. Right. Select. Okay. Pick that up. Down there. Uh, mirror. The other side. Yay. Oh, not that one. <gasps> you idiot. Undo. Right. Uh, sorry. Duplicate. Thank you. Then mirror. Yay. Now I've got the other one. And now I can just place the other one over the top. So there we are. So now we've got the angles going different directions and the whole thing going different. So then, let me think. I haven't saved this. I'll buy for a while. Let's go and save it, right? Uh, oh, uh, the other thing is, naturally, uh, I can take the very first thing I did, which is this one, and duplicate that so it's at the bottom now and change it from a fill to an outline and tell that fill to be satin and say, well, no, I don't want it that bloody sick. Uh, I think I'll just have uh, two. Come on. No, don't me like that. So I think I'll have mm, two, mini two millimetres is hardly anything, is it? That's in the scale of things. So I am just going to hit, not get that in the centre of my screen. Not get that in the centre of my screen. First thing I'm going to do now is uh, unlock. Select and unlock the picture. Select the picture again and delete it. Yeah, so now I've got rid of it. So now I can look at my uh, work and say, we look too happy about that lot. That's a bit, you know, some of these are a bit close to that. How, how big is my outside track? Two millimetres, that's 100%. That's two millimetres. Yeah, that is good. Actually, that is pretty good. So, Because if you go too small, well, it's never going to work for you. Oh, and what's happening here on his bum? Actually, I think I need to go... If I do go down to 1.5... Oh, that gives me a better definition, doesn't it? Entirely. Uh, so, I think I might pick that up again and say... Mm. No. One point two five. Yeah, that's better. One point two, one point two five, but that's at two hundred twenty-seven. You know, percent. Yay, that's better. Let's look at it again. Yay, that's better. That is better because that does give me better definition. However, I'm going to pick that up. Oops, pick that up, and then I'm going to duplicate it. Yeah. Duplicate my little love and say, well, no, I want a zigzag stitch, and I know. I want it to be 125. Bring that. Yeah, and it is locking in. Yeah, and it is locking in that outside stitch. Yeah. So now I'm up here with it. So now I'll say Steve. Oh, and sorry, beg your pardon. I do not need that outside line. So I can delete that. So I can take a template off no not take my grid off and say well there he is that's the second bat that's another bat finished so i'm just going to save that 